get two for really the price of a lot of ones out there um, that you're gonna see. But you're gonna also learn because a lot of times people think they know everything there is to know about it, but you don't really. We have clear. We also have these in red. We have pink. We have blue. We have yellow. And you're gonna get two for a price of $49, which comes out to about 25 each. Look at that that's little my yard. sweetie pie. Okay, drinking. that's my backyard. Oh, it's in your back. Mary Beth, Bob and I were in the backyard. We were in Rancho Mirage the other day. Yeah. And we were sitting back there. I'm not going to lie. We were sipping a little glass of wine. That's we, okay. We counted 22 hummingbirds. And look, 22. look, look. This is my This is in my front yard. They're having a okay. party yep. at Rock's yeah, Okay. <laughs> we're Italian. We got to feed everybody, Mary Beth. Okay. Exactly. Here we go. Mary Beth, you get two of these. You're not getting one for this price. Two glass hummingbird feeders. You're gonna get the hook as well, which yeah. I made this one in a powder coated silver for a change right. to match the bottom feeder, okay? And then we're going a step further. I Instead of just having one sitting place at each hibiscus flower, we made it continuous all the way around. And this is something that like is super important. Like if you show the bottom, you can yeah. see it. Yeah. So they can sit there, a whole family. A whole family, absolutely. Um, and we made it so that you can actually open this up and you can get in there and clean it with a bottle brush unlike others. Now, a few port important things. One, you never want to buy a hummingbird feeder, guys, that has a metal bottom. And the reason for that is because it will burn the bottom of the, of the hummingbird's feet. Also, Did you the know metal that? starts to rust. I learned that. And it will start to interact with your nectar. So that's why you never want to buy these guys. But how Roxanne started with hummingbirds is my sweet little mom who's up in heaven looking down, absolutely belly laughing at me today with all my hummingbird feeders because she loved them. This is how it all started. Yeah. These icky, yucky, plastic, horrible hummingbird feeders. Yeah. And my husband went to work and we designed the first glass hummingbird feeder that we brought to QVC over 12 years ago. You said you've sold more than 300,000 300, yes. hummingbird feeders of different, you know, kinds. Different. But that's amazing. That's why we call her the hummingbird <laughs> queen. <laughs> and Mary Beth, think about this now. The hummingbirds are all flocking north and they're all starting to nest. This is actually taken in San Clemente, California. Wow. But the hummingbirds flap their wings 80 times a second. A second. That's over 4,000 times a minute. You know, and wow. if you want to, again, start something fun with your grandkids, yeah. pick up a set of these. I actually have six in my backyard, two in my front yard, because they're territorial. And once they come, they're like college kids. They come back all the time, Here's right? Here's a quick question. Okay. Because from somebody, like my dad had hummingbird feeders, but we always had to make the nectar red. Oh, so no, do, no, no, uh, like, no. I, I'm kind of wondering, what are the birds going to think when they see blue or yellow or pink or clear? Oh, th well, they're going to go after the hibiscus flowers, what which they're going are after. red. Right, which so are red. So that's all, all they really that's need to see. That's all they need, guys. And then the other thing that is most important, please don't ever use the red dye, and please do not buy that red hummingbird food at the stores. It harms the hummingbirds. Each and every hummingbird feeder comes with Roxanne's hummingbird food, and it's simply one cup of white sugar, four cups of water. You're gonna just stir it up. I put it in the microwave for five minutes. You know, it's like a simple syrup. Yeah. You're gonna pour it in, and each one of these feeders will hold up to about four cups of nectar. And once the birds start coming and they start feeding frenzy off you, you are going to be refilling these a lot you will love them and you are going to become addicted yeah. they fly up they fly down they fly backwards they fly forward yeah they zoom by you they actually take and zoom around me when i'm taking and yeah. putting my feeders out with new food <laughs> mary beth can i ask like a dog you know that's yes. waiting at um do i have to hang it or can i set it on oh, something you can set it on something okay but you know we put the hangers on there and these are all these are all done by hand as well, but look yeah. at that. That's just hanging off my um, gutter there. Yeah. That one's hanging off a shepherd's hook. Uh -huh. um, and in the backyard, I have my kufia plant, which is also my hummingbird lunch kufia yeah. plant, which is also back there. Plant 
flowers and plants, guys, that are going to attract the pollinators. Right. And Look then at that little baby. That's eat a baby. A bit, uh, oh my goodness gracious. But you'll see them eating on the plant, but then they'll find that they've got, it's even easier at the feeder. So that's, and you include the little brush yeah, to clean so out those holes. You actually have the little brush so you can feed out, uh, clean out the feeding holes Look at as that. well, because you know the whole family's going to come to the De Palmas right. or come yeah, to the to row the house. Yeah, right. and they're just going to feed away, but you want to clean these. Yeah. Um, you know, I just use soapy hot water yeah. and then the little brush, well, that will get inside there really Should clean. I only hand wash the glass part or could I put it in the dishwasher? You can put them in the dishwasher. I don't have time. Yeah. I just hand wash them, use a yeah. bottle brush inside and away yeah. you go. Right. Mary Beth, for this price, we were on with another hummingbird Two feeder. Yes, today. That was thirty-eight dollars for one. These are less than twenty-five dollars. Two. For I each. can't believe it. So you're getting two for less than fifty, and it goes back to I, I just felt like when you and I were talking earlier today, you were teaching me things I didn't realize that this needs to be a plastic bottom so they don't burn their feet on the metal. Right, and these or, are made of polycarbonate, yeah. so they're not going to break. Um, and they they're won't not, rust. They won't rust on you yeah. as well. And, they, and the whole thing is you don't want to harm the hummingbirds, guys. Right. You do not want to use the red dye. Yeah. And you do don't not do want that. to put the metal down here. Yeah. Okay? This will never get hot. Right. And then the other thing is, so when you make the nectar, you've already got the recipe here. Mm -hmm. Don't add the dye. And you're going to be like, well, it's blue. They're not going to come to it. But oh, they yeah, do they because they come to the red flowers, the hibiscus flower. Isn't look that so right pretty? Here. And, you know, the whole thing is that they can sit anywhere around there. It's just brilliant. I got to tell you, I've never seen pink and I've never seen clear. Well, honey, Welcome to the De Palma world. We always bring you something new. And what's exactly. really awesome about these, these are brand guys, new today, by the if, way. If you got the ones earlier from Saturday morning queue, all of my hummingbird feeders will mix together and work together. They're like flowers. Yeah. And we that's never right. show up ugly to the garden. Um, okay. Let me ask you a quick question. It, would there be like a, a certain amount you should have in the same area? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. The more Mary feeders Beth. you have, the, the more, more the hummingbirds more, yes, exactly. you're going to get. And you're also going to always have a bully hummingbird. There's always one in the bunch. And that bunch is going to take and attack other birds. So that's why you put up multiple feeders. But I'm telling you, you're going to get addicted. If you've never yeah. had a hummingbird feeder, Get this one. You're going to get two of them. You can even keep one and get yeah. one. And they That's make right. great Christmas Mother's presents. Day Mother's Day gifts. Father's Day presents. E yeah, I mean, Easter, you won't get it in time for Easter probably. Although House you might. Warming. You never um, know. Because that's about a week from now. But the one thing I will tell you, this is brand new today. The price is amazing because it's not 49 each. It's two for 49. And it's made beautifully. And you can put the, the clear liquid into it, it will not matter. They will Look go for that. the red flower. Look at those clear ones. Yep. They almost have like a, um, a what do I want to say? Aurora like Borealis kind of yes. iridescence to it, like opal. Yeah, you know? I love it. Oh, that's, I like that's, that. That's, I like that. Yeah, opalescence. Yeah. That's opalescence. the word. And this will pick up all the color from your yeah. flowers or whatever else is around it. Yeah. But again, oh, wow. guys, don't get just one set. Get yeah. a couple sets of these. Mix the colors up. Don't worry about them yes. because you have have the hibiscus flower there right. that's going to attract all the hummingbirds. Look, there's a yellow feeder that's yep. coming up. And they're all there and ready. And don't forget, the recipe comes with it. Don't use red dye, none of that. It's bad for the birds. It's bad um, for the birds. Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone.